home building and remodeling show. Let's go. Welcome everybody to the home building and remodeling show. My name is Chris Kirby and I'll be your host. I am the owner of three construction companies on the Alabama Gulf Coast. The show is about residential construction. We're going to cover topics of home building and remodeling. Are you thinking of doing a remodel or building a home? Are you a contractor looking to improve your knowledge base or grow your business? Have you ever done a remodel project or built a home? There were so many things you wish you knew or that you could have done differently during the process. Then this show is for you. We break down the process of building and remodeling and how to have the best results during your project. Whether you're a DIYer looking for tips, someone looking to hire a contractor to do a project, or a contractor looking to expand your knowledge base or your business. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Stay tuned. We kick off the show with my thoughts on home building and remodeling. I'll share best practices and talk about some of our experiences in business and out in the field. These shared thoughts and lessons learned are meant to help you on your very own journey. Let's go. What do I love about the construction industry, specifically residential remodeling and home building? I love seeing the um, raw land turn into a house, the end result that a person or a family is going to live in this house that we've built from the ground up. In remodeling, I I love um, older homes, especially when you walk in to a, a, a dark, dark place, dingy place, it's not well lit, and you brighten it up. Uh, your team goes in there and knocks it out of the park. They give this person some peace of mind because the project was done well and uh, the result was positive. I love the look on the client's face when they see the completed project. Once it's once it's done, it's it's all cleaned up, and uh, they walk in and to their brand new space. Whether it's a whole home remodel, whether it's a kitchen remodel, whether it's a bathroom remodel. Sometimes I still get surprised by the results of our team. And uh, we put a lot of time and effort into doing these projects. The client puts a lot of time, effort, and money into the project as well. And so I love when the client walks in and are just so happy with the result and so happy with the hard work that our team has put into their project. I truly believe that that this industry is one of those industries that is changing people's lives. You are improving the quality of their life by providing that updated space. Believe it or not, sometimes, um, you know, people, even me, I still do it today. I'm looking around at my house and uh, I hate the way my kitchen is laid out. I really want to do a kitchen remodel, but we, we haven't done it. And so when you have a client that has been looking around at this space and they hate the layout or they just hate the way it looks or, you know, it actually mentally affects them when they are finally able to get that project done. It's a big burden lifted and uh, it puts them at ease mentally or it should put them at ease mentally. And so I think contractors have to really look at um, the value they're adding to people's lives. So if you do a good job, it changes that person's mental state. It changes that that client's outlook. It brightens their day. And that's what contractors do. And now we move into Shop Talk. It's the portion of the show where I bring in a co-host and we cover trending topics in home building and remodeling. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. And what we see too, talking just talking about pricing is, you have people where they will go and do the work. One of the easier systems, and I say easier, but I'll ask your opinion. One of the easier things for us to do these days is to install the Onyx uh, shower systems. Yes. And those are very popular, and they're starting to make different types of Onyx, onyx with the designs. Right. And so it's not just a smooth. Onyx is very similar to what a cultural marble was. Right. And you can get them... 
anything that looks like subway tile to shiplap to any kind of stone that you like they make them everything and, and the maintenance the reason those are popular right now i think is the maintenance a little bit easier because you don't have to do the grout no and grout the grout lines, lines. Yep. yeah and so you're just you can wipe them down if you want to clean them and uh so they're they come in panels they're panelized mm-hmm. right yep okay and can you talk a little bit about how that works what, what's your preference man like as an installer not from the estimator side but as an installer those are super simple yeah so your your tray the yeah, pan, your shower pan it yep. comes pre you know made it's a prefab right all you do is just slip it over the top and now what about go. What about the drain, though? So, like, let's just say that you have a scenario where they had a garden tub or they had any any kind of tub. Do you have to recenter that drain? Do you have to move it? What? Um, so, Onyx, if you can give them the measurements, they'll put the drain opening anywhere on that pan for you. Really? See, yeah. I didn't. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. So it's not cut and dry, left, right, center. N- no, no, you can put it anywhere on it. Um, but you know. Your typical shower is either going to be to the left or right or in the center. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. So then, as far as that goes, from the you still need a plumber, right? Yeah. Technically, you need a plumber to install the pan because you are hooking a hooking it, connecting it to the right. drain. Okay. So you install the pan, right? And, and then you put your sheetrock up, and they the pans have a big tall flange on them that it's probably about two or three inches, and you install your sheetrock, so your pan goes stud to stud. Your sheetrock goes down over the flange, and yeah. then your panel comes. So it's the little, the little, kind of a little lip yeah. up, right? Yeah. So for the common people, flange, right? It's the little lip up on the on the actual pan, right? right? So you want your sheetrock to be. It's going to come. So down it doesn't need to come down and meet it. No, no, no. It the just needs to go, go over, over it. it. Yeah, okay. just a little bit, and then um, it comes with a uh their own adhesive and you put little four inch circles every four inches all over all over the wall and you just stick it to it gotcha okay and then that panel goes straight directly on to the sheetrock comes all the way down and it meets the bottom the top of the pan gotcha and so they come in straight panels so like wherever your valve or shower head is located. The installer just cuts cuts it out. And so you can. It on. So you can those those panels, the wall panels. You can cut those mm-hmm. to go over that. Yeah. Shower so head. they don't have a pre made hole. Gotcha. Our installers have to cut it out. Gotcha. And then um, they come a little oversized just in case you got something funky going on with the wall, so you can get it right. Yeah. And um. They, I mean, they got tons of accessories. They have like pre-made niches, towel bars, grab bars, now all the benches, all that stuff. So when you, if they, let's just say, you, are you saying that you can get a prefab niche that comes yes, with the it system? It comes with it. Now, are they? Is it built into that wall mm-hmm. panel, or no? Do you so have to you cut? have to cut the niche itself. Comes prefab, kind of like uh, the Schluter system we use. Yep. And uh, all our installer has to do is cut out the location and slap it and in. And slap it in, but it's a part of the and system. All, everything's glue. Now, question though, do right if that special adhesive, mm-hmm. right? Though, okay. So, what if they want one after the fact? I'm sure. Are you as t- long as you know where your stud location is, um, you should be fine. Okay. But if you don't know where your studs are, it would be kind of difficult because if. You come back a, little, a year later, and they're like, "Hey, I want a niche right here." And you go to cut, and there's a stud back there. Then, yeah, that panel. Then you're not. You're yeah, right. and the panel itself is is right. toast. So, um, and and I think we've run numbers on cost and things like that, and it, it is it's relative. But the easy the because the, you're getting the panels, they're typically a little more expensive than just buying tile for the walls and floor. But the labor, labor part, yeah. yeah. You make up time, definitely make up time on the labor part. Yeah, because you're not you're, stacking tile. You're not. Not at all. Don't. I mean, really, no matter how big the shower is, you're in and out of there from walking in on your first day, having to start demo and leave him within a week. Yeah. If you, that's all you're doing, you know. What I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, as far as materials. Right. So 
you said sheetrock, and did you mean sheetrock, or did you mean green board, purple board, dirt no, rock, says, or you um, can put it you straight? You can put over. it straight to sheetrock. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And that's kind of one of the things too that when when you're out there doing your bids and estimates and stuff, are you recommending something like that? Are you talking if, to yes. the client about well, stuff? Some people already have tile picked out and on their mind. Gotcha. And then yeah. some people are, you know I mean? You can kind of tell they're wanting some kind of panel system. Yeah. And the, they always bring up cultural marble. Yeah. And that's when I bring up Onyx. Cause Hell, I don't know that. Do they still make actual cultural marble? Mm-hmm. The, they do. That guy in Fairhope uh, does it. Oh, wow. And so they do. I didn't realize yeah. that, that that's still even. A, I don't know that we've done in seven years. I don't know that we've done a cultural marble. I know yeah. it's plenty of They're time. They're kind of more like uh, something you would find at like a fire station or something you. like yeah. industrial type place, yes, you know what I mean, yes, where yes, they yes. have bathrooms and showers. I got you. I got you. Now we're going to move into the portion of the show where we talk interior design. We're going to bring in an interior designer and we're going to talk trending design and products. Hope you enjoy. Let's go comes to cost now are most places the same or is there sometimes you can get yeah they, they usually all float around the same price mark so unless one is having a sell and the other one's not but yeah they usually are all the same markup gotcha and see and and, and we are running into that right now so we're at a position where we're actually waiting on the electrical company to turn on power and before we begin, a lot of the cosmetic work inside, the flooring, well, the cabinets were dropped a little early. They're mm-hmm. there. But optimally, you want the space conditioned. And right now, we okay. have been waiting two weeks for that. Right. And it, going back to what you say, you can't just purchase a lot of items and, and stick them, even in our building, because we build multiple homes. And we have the remodeling company mm-hmm. that has multiple jobs. And our warehouse tends to stay pretty right. full as it is. So, um, any recommendations there? I mean, just for planning purposes, yeah, you don't want them lost. You don't want them damaged. Um, we, we are working with another family and this one's a remodel, but you might as well be rebuilding it at this point. Um, and they went ahead to rent it a storage unit. So if things are needed, if we don't have the space for it, or if they don't want it on their job site, or we don't need it on the job site right now. That's an option too, and that's at the owner's expense, but yeah. it is available, and some people do that. Well, we had that. Well, we built uh, when we were building one of the barn dominiums. Uh, the owner, we didn't have enough storage mm-hmm. space, and they wanted to pay cash for items as they found them. Right. Just recommendation. They, I mean, it's maybe forty, fifty bucks, and uh, they were able to get it monthly and and put it in a, a storage mm-hmm. unit. Uh, also, the, the other thing we've done, even on this build that we're talking about mm-hmm. now, is we we actually had window. It's going to depend on what the item is and right. if it needs to be air conditioned or right. not. Uh, so if not, you can. We've rented connexes and we will drop them on the mm-hmm. property. So like the windows and doors for for this, the um, exterior it's doors. Like that, right. We had a connex dropped. Uh, it wasn't very expensive. I want to say maybe a hundred bucks or so a, a month, but we knew they were only going to sit, that Connex was only going to be there for a month. Right. So it cost us, you know, hundred dollars plus delivery charge. Right. And we were able to deliver the windows, put them, lock them up in the Connex. Mm-hmm. And then when we needed them, they were there. Right. So that's another tip or trick. Mm-hmm. If you're building a custom home, look at your different storage options as you're going through. If now, again, these are custom homes. A lot of the spec builders and production builders, they will have, you know, you can pick a couple of sets of cabinets. So they've they've got all, all of that stuff figured out. It's not. But when you're doing a custom home, you and your builder have to team right. up to figure right. out logistics and when, and, yeah. when to get stuff. And we do have vendors, too, as you know, that will hold it for us until we're ready to go pick it up and Yes. That's nice too. Yep. So that's another tip or trick. You can always talk to the vendor to see how long they will store it. We've got some friendly vendors that help us out when we get in a in a crunch with storage. But so as far as lessons learned when it comes to selections, making selections, mm-hmm. timeliness and stuff like that, what recommendations do you have? Kind of getting back to what we were talking about though, 
you you one of the tips was make sure to to do your research and find what it is that you want at do- multiple different locations. Yeah. And right. uh but as far as making a selection uh way too far in advance or timing those selections, what what do you So at the beginning of working with the homeowner on their choices and I've said this for another podcast, ideally you have two or three choices anyway. Yeah. So that part of it is really already done. So you kind of use that. Um, I don't throw those choices away. So if it does come up that something's not available, I can go to plan B or show them the other two options that were available. They sure. may have preferred or picked the other one, but if right. it's not available, they do know of something else that would work. Gotcha. And it kind of t- saves you from the shopping of having to do that again. Well, because it's, it's very hard. And I know the clients, they want what they want. And sometimes there's times that they can wait and be patient, but mm-hmm. Um, you know, and it may come down to, but the holidays are coming up and their those patients are not going to want to oh, be there. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes. They're going to be ready to cook turkey yeah, in their like, home. And that's they, our goal. They want right everything. And so, yeah, if it's not available, I'm pretty sure they're going to jump they're on gonna and find something else. Immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's kind of where we are, you know, in this build, unfortunately we're running up against the, we want to get them in there before mm-hmm. the, before the holidays so they can be with family. It's a big yeah. old house. And, uh, so, you know, that, that type of stuff is important, but one thing I picked up on that you said was having the multiple options, mm-hmm. right? So what about, uh, items that they, that they really want and there's, there's no other option for them. Oh, there's gotta be another option. There's always yeah. another option. So, That's the problem. There's too many options. Yeah. Um, so it's a, I mean, but you always, you always have multiple things ready for me. I've never I mean, walked it's... away from a job where someone's been like, I really wish that that product could have been there instead of this. Like either, like you're saying, either they can wait for it or like I mentioned earlier, there's five or 10 other places that carry the same product. You just have to take the time to research it um, and find it with that model number. Um, so hopefully it will all work out. But Yeah. And sometimes it does come down to, Okay, do you want to be in the home or do you want to right. keep the land? But if or... it's no longer in production, chances are you are not going to be getting that. Yeah, so and, you just have to find something else. And that does happen more often than, than people realize. Uh, with the with flooring, mm-hmm. I've noticed it a lot. It, you may pick out a flooring and, you know, we try to buy more anyway. Because mm-hmm. if you have, you know, not just they don't like it or whatever, but you may have a scratch or you, you know, a few months later, they're calling you and asking you, where did you get that from? Because something broke on the mm-hmm. floor and we need more people, you know? Right. So we try to buy more anyway, because you can call and they're like, Oh, we don't, that was whatever. We don't right. have it anymore. Right. So right. that type of stuff happens, but okay. Well, we just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the process. We wanted to talk about timing and selection of materials Christy, as always, I know you got to get out of here and go pay for some selections. Uh, We are running on all cylinders, (laughs) but we appreciate you and the insight that you provide. And until next time, thanks. Thanks for joining us today. As always, we are grateful for our listeners and your continued support. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media via Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Get more info at our website www.thehomebuildingshow.com and as always remember who we are the home building and remodeling show